In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create animated legal pad or yellow pad slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. You can see here I have created this legal pad design in PowerPoint uh, with a yellow uh, background. And then I have put the lines and then I have put this the vertical lines as well as a separator and then i have added the points to be discussed and then i have put six options here you can each option you can put it here option number one and then you can add the title here and in the subsequent pages i have given the details of each and every point so let me just show you how it works when i click this page will go off and then the detail page of the option will appear you can see here this is my option one you can add some detailed text here and then if you have some infographic or some icons or some design you can add it here and on my next click this page will go and the option two will come you can see here the different uh, text and different color i have used likewise you can add as many pages as you want depending on your requirement and these are the color codes i have used you can see here for the yellow page background i have used this uh, rgb color for this yellow and for the horizontal lines i have used this particular green color and for the the margins i have used this light orange color and this particular slide can be worked in any powerpoint version so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to increase this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light yellow color then i'm going to add some lines for that go to insert shapes select the line draw the line leave some space at the top and hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line you can see here and then this color i'm going to change to light green color you can see here and you can go and increase the width to maybe one half or one point you can see here then press ctrl d to duplicate it and then just add it and make sure that the lines are properly aligned and it is not going uh, or not crossing the the page press ctrl d again just add you can see here just press ctrl d how many lines you need maybe this much and i'm just going to select the lines and make sure that align left you can do it and whether there is an equal spacing or not, you can just give a distribute vertically. And once this is added, I'm just going to add the vertical line, go to insert shapes, again, select the line and then hold the shift key, bring till the bottom. You can see here, then shape outline. I'm going to give the color as a light orange color. You can see here and make sure to increase the weight also you can and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to give a double line here and give some less gap so it looks like more kind of a, a legal pad so you can see here this has been added and then go before doing that one i'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl a and ctrl g to group it then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one more rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any dark color here and then you can give some shadow effect also you can go to the shadows and give this shadow effect now you can see here our uh, the pad is ready now it's up to you how many text you want, how many images you want, or what are the graphics you want to add it here. Now I'm going to add one more page by selecting this one and press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this is the page where I can add any text here. And you can add multiple pages depending on your requirement. For example, go to insert text box and I'm going to just say uh, text box and just say the number one or option one and then the font which i'm going to select is the hand of sean just select that one so it looks like a handwritten one and right align this you can see here and then 
go to insert text box and here you can add your detailed text for example your first your first option here and then this also i'm just going to make it hand off shown and if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement so you can see here and then i can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and then you can add maybe this is the second option this is the third option so i'm just adding only three options so i'm just going to make it three this will be two and this also i'm going to make it second and this is my third option so you can see here and then i'm just going to select this and press ctrl g to group it so i can just keep this aside so this is my page number one now i want to add the detail of the option one so what i'm going to do i'm going to press ctrl d again if you want you can add in a new slide also and then you can bring it here so let me just uh, ungroup this right mouse click and ungroup let me just delete this option you can see here and you can add some detailed text go to insert text box you can add some equals lorem within bracket one i'm just giving some random text again the same font i'm going to set which is the hand of sean and then reduce the size to uh, 12 and then you can increase the spacing between this one you can see here whichever you want 2.5 to whichever you can just add some like this or if it is too much spacing you can add a uh, two also here so this way you can just uh, add the detailed text and then if you have any images or if you have some icons or some shapes or if you have old uh, powerpoint files where you want to copy you can just add that one so i'm just going to add this one click on insert you can see here increase the size just add it here you can give some uh, less transparent you can go to the format graphics you can just reduce the transparency here so if you don't want you can just keep it zero percent also so this way this is my second page so i'm just going to select again hold the shift key select all the option one by one press ctrl g so this is my second paper i'm just going to keep this aside again press ctrl d to duplicate so if you find it difficult to maintain here it's better to add a new slide and do it so this is my second option you can see here i'm just going to change this to second option and let me just delete insert some different icon or anything which you like to add you can see here so this is my first option first page this is my second page and this is my third page again for this also i'm just going to select all and group it let me just select this and group this you can see here so this is my second page so if you want you can add as many pages as you want depending on your requirement now i can arrange the paper the way i want because this is my first page this is my second page and this is my third page so before arranging the paper it's better to add the animation to it so let's go to the animations enable the animation pane so this is my page number one you can see here this particular page i'm going to add the animation go to add animation select more exit effects and here i'm just going to select uh, fly out you can see here fly out click ok and the effect options i'm going to select to bottom right so it goes like this so then i'm just going to select this one animation painter i'm going to click on the page number two and then select the animation painter click on the page number three so you can see here now it's time to arrange the papers so let me just close the animation pane you can see here let me just zoom out a little bit so this is my page number i should put this one at the bottom you can see here make sure it is properly aligned and then just go to format and just say send back and then this is my second paper i'm just going to bring it here and make sure it is properly aligned as well and then does this also send back and then i'm going to select this 
and then again this also send back so if you see the animation so the animation page this is first one second one and third one let me just play in the slideshow if you see here when i click that will go and the page option the first option come here or the page first and then this is the second page and if you have third or fourth page also you can just add it so it's a simple way you can do this particular legal pad or yellow pad animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.